Okay, now we're in the meadows at Birdsong. So the homes in this neighborhood are older. Um, they have bigger yards, so the houses are spread apart a good bit. Again, this one looks to be in excellent shape. You've got a nice looking roof. The exterior is vinyl, so it should be low maintenance. When you come in here, it's a vinyl floor entryway. Immediately to your left is the garage, which they have a nice carpet in here. Up top is the garage door opener. They do have a rainbird sensor over there, so I'm not sure if the sprinkler system works. Um, a very old hot water heater. The air conditioner is from 2005, so this one's a newer air conditioner than the last house. It's a foreclosure. This one is a all brand new paint and carpet as well. So take a look at the high ceilings. Really open, which is nice. I mean, for this age home to have the nice open concept is very attractive. Good size. Um, living room and formal dining all kind of combined into one. So here's our master. Again, nice high ceilings. Very neutral colors. As we come in here, you've got a very bright greenish garden tub. Walk-in shower that's looking to be in good shape. Needs a shower head. Down below just kind of some mildew and things like that but looks to be in nice shape. Countertops kind of a lime green. Um, tile floors here in this whole area and then carpet in the walk-in closet. Alright next let's go out into the family room and kitchen. So this area right here where I'm standing, this would be considered your formal dining area. There is a large breakfast nook. They put in new laminate flooring here in the kitchen. Uh, probably would be nice to have tile. There are some bubbles here um, in the flooring. See this, how it's literally got pockets in there. Um, I don't know if they not done or what but it's looks to be very shoddy for a brand new laminate floor so there is your breakfast nook which has a beautiful you know amount of light with the windows there the countertops are adequate you've got solid wood cabinetry no refrigerator in this one there is a built-in microwave though there was no microwave in the other house All right, here's your refrigerator area. There are skylights which as you know probably many times leak. I don't know when this roof was done if it was just redone or not. You've got three nice big skylights there so there is a ton of light that comes in from those. We'll check out the two bedrooms and bath over here. Uh, one of the neat features I like about this is each of these non-master bedrooms has a huge walk-in closet. So take a look here. Nice big walk-in closet. You don't typically see that for a kid's bedroom. This window right here is fogged. Not sure if that shows up very well, but it is a fogged window. Directly across is our hall bathroom. Again, tile floors. Decent vanity here, kind of your basic light, and then a real nice shower tub combination. A little bit of mildew there at the bottom. Nothing of serious note. A little closet here on the side, linen closet up above. No ceiling fan here, but just a basic light. And again, another big walk in closet right here. So Pretty neat setup for um, those rooms. Now this one does not have the fourth bedroom potential like the other house. 
so I think that's an advantage from uh, a rental standpoint. Here you've got a decent size um, screened in porch. Not as big as the other one, but definitely a good size. Much bigger backyard, very deep. It's kind of an abnormal shape. Here to the right you get a little view. The fence is okay. It's got a few replacement panels. As I step out here you'll see the nice depth. little playground. I'm not sure what this was. The little deck area straight ahead. Then over here to the side you've got a nice sized shed which is great for extra storage. This is wood siding so there is a lot of rotten wood around it. Um, here's some examples. And here also all along the base. So it needs some work, some wood replacement. Here you get a good view of the back of the house. You can see a really good size, um, a good looking roof and you can see the vinyl siding which is in good shape. Big side yard here again and there is a garage door here so you could store a vehicle or riding lawnmower or whatever. So both good options. I did see this one has a, uh, a little shallow well. It looks like an older pump but it may work. So for irrigation if you have the the well there that's helpful that's it for this one